in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Eustace is taking stock of his assets in a bid to raise a lot of cash fast. Hey, man. Doing all right, Scott? I'm good. How about yourself? Oh, pretty good. Scott Beam is an antique dealer specializing in vintage farm equipment. The two-seater buggy dates back to 1890 and was once used for day-to-day horse-drawn travel. Let's get it right out here where you can see it better. Of course, the more I see it, I might change my mind on this. I like it. How much could you give for something like this and make a little profit? Uh, looking at maybe 18. I don't know if I could let it go for 18, Scott. What about 2,200? Is there any way you could do that? I need some money. Uh, I don't know. I might have to get that seat fixed and a little clean up. What if we just split the difference? I think 2,000 cover it. Yeah, I believe you picked the right day. I'm all right, 2,000. Good deal. Yeah, I got the tongue right in here. All right. The tongue is a wood and metal frame that connects the steering axle of the cart to the horse's harness. You grab the end of it. Yeah, I'll it for you. Put this together here. Yeah, let's see if we can move it up in the road where you can load it more easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the tongue. It was kind of embarrassing, honestly, to have a tongue break right there while I'm making the sale. Doesn't, doesn't look too good on me. I hope that he still wants it. I'll try to, I'll make it right somehow. We'll, uh, we'll get another, uh, another tongue so we can have a solid tongue for you. And man doesn't need anything like that, that's for sure. I'm no, sorry about that. It'd be a Scott. bad day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll try to get it done by the end of the day. Can you come back this evening? I can come back by here. Okay. I'm on my way back down the road. Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about yeah, that. That's but, all right. But I'll take care of it. I've got $2,000 on the line here on this sale, and I've got to get this tongue in a satisfactory condition, and that means I've got to get to work here and fix this and make it so that he's happy with it. Because if he's not happy with it, I'm not going to go away with $2,000 a day, and I need that for the land. The broken shaft is an essential component that connects the axle to the horse's harness. To replace it, Eustace first separates the broken pieces from the tongue's metal framework. Well, I'm getting it, Lou. One bolt at a time. I'm running into a bit of a problem. There's a few of these bolts that just don't want to come off. So I need to take a, a cutting torch and take them off. Yeah, this will get it so hot I can blast the metal right out of there. The red wrench always works. To make the repair, he's scavenging another wooden shaft of similar dimensions from his collection. And it looks like it'll fit in there. I guarantee him that I'm going to fix it. Yeah! Pays to have a few scrap pieces around. That's part of the deal that we agreed on, and I'm gonna make sure he has one. Sweet. I'm pretty happy with my fix. I just really hope that he's happy with it. I need to walk away with $2,000 out of this deal. Hey, man, did you get us fixed up? I got it all fixed up. I pulled the tongue out of another one and uh, got one that fit just right back in there. I spent a lot of time putting all this together and getting a good tongue in there. He's going to look over my work, and he's going to make sure it's satisfactory. I need some money. I need to buy that lamp. Might not be the original tongue, but it's sturdy. Do the job. The tongue looks good, Eustace. Well, I'm glad you like it. I wanted you to have something good. Works for me. Good deal. Good deal. Let's get her loaded up. All right. This puts me $2,000 closer to coming up with a down payment. See you, brother. Take care, buddy. Thank you. It's really important to me to keep this land wild and keep it natural and buy as much buffer around my farm as I possibly can. But right now, it's just a hope and a dream and a prayer. 